Flash, and I'm inside the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos. It's 2017, and I am back with another favorite guest. Thank you so much for coming along. Thanks for having me, Edie. Great to see you. Nice to see you, Kathy. So you're the Chief Operations and Technology Officer for Bank of America. We're on the eve of President Trump's inauguration. We have seen the status quo, trust in the status quo, erode completely. Trusted financial institutions is also not at a particular high. How do you deal with that at Bank of America? Well, I think, first of all, is to acknowledge that it's true, that, that trust in institutions isn't at an all-time high, and, and that, I think, self-awareness gives us the opportunity to really think aggressively and creatively about how to, how to make things better. Um, honestly, in my role, I, I believe technology is a bridge. Um, you know, trust starts with accessibility and it starts with confidence in relationship and we work every day to use technology to help our clients access us, for them to understand us, uh, for, but for both clients and non-clients to, to know who we are and what we stand for in the hopes of building trust. And how do, you, how, do you, how do you actually do that? If I'm doing all my banking on my mobile phone, which is what I want, by the way, uh, I don't really want to go talk to somebody. How do I actually trust, how do I build trust in, in that? Is it because the app works, that it opens when I want to? Well, I think, first of all, that is what customers want. Mm -hmm. They want to access us when they want to, how they want to, and where they want to. So they want exactly what you're saying. So first, giving it to them mm -hmm. is, is a start. But we're all, even uh, all of us as an executive team, are using social media much more than, than we ever have to put a human face on the firm so that they know people, not just a company name. So how is AI transforming your business and the customer experience? I think it's been great at Davos that we're having a ton of conversation about AI, both its use but also its responsible use. Um, for us, we sit as a financial institution on tons and tons of data, customer data, market data, how to put that to work how to create real insight is really the secret sauce and AI is the key to doing that. I actually have decided I hate the term artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer to think of it as automated intelligence, sort of better, faster and cheaper ways to turn data into something that really adds value. So how could you do that for me as a, as a B of A client, for example? Well, we might watch the transactions that you do with us. We might understand um, your payment history. We could see that you bought an airline ticket to go to a particular destination. We can put all of that together for you to help prevent fraud. Mm -hmm. um, we can help you have um, uh, at your fingertips information mm -hmm. about the, the kinds of transactions you might want to think about, if a balance is getting low and we know you're going to be an active user because you're traveling. Mm -hmm. you know, not, the, not the kind of insights that cross the creepy line, mm -hmm. but the kind of insights that really add value to you in ways that you might not even know would be helpful. And how are you thinking about digital identity as I travel around the web with my B of A account, with spending money, how much information do you feel happy for to be releasing and how much should I be in control of versus you? Well, first of all, we believe you should be in control of all of your information. And that's not only true in banking. There are a lot of uh, very important discussions happening if you buy a car and the, the, your use of that car produces data. Do you own the, the data? Does the manufacturer or the seller of the car own the data? These are big, important um, conversations with, with the future framework, I think, yet to be sorted out. But we'd, we would, for the most part, put you in control, use your data for your purposes only, never for a third party. That's part of, back to the conversation about trust, that's part of the trust contract. Mm -hmm. um, we have to be reliable and trusted stewards of the data that you trust us with. Kathy Besson, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion. Great to see you again. Here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.